welcome to Sri Ram Medical College. Today we will explore Operation Theatre Equipment, a tour of the tools and machines used in surgery. In the early 1800s, doctors began using some of the earliest operating rooms, sometimes called operating theatres. Due to the lack of electricity, surgeries could only be carried out during the day. Candles were also frequently used to supplement the available light. Surgeons in the United States didn't even wash their hands before or during surgery until after the advent of sterile technique in the 1890s. Asepsis, the practice of preventing bacteria from entering a wound or sterile equipment, became standard in the 20th century. Boiling, autoclaving, and chemical antiseptics could sterilize operating room equipment. Doctors adopted the custom of donning white jackets, and patients and visitors now found themselves surrounded by freshly prepared beds and sterile operation tables. Operation The operating theater is a specially equipped chamber where delicate surgical procedures can be carried out under the close supervision of experienced medical professionals. The operating room necessitates numerous tools. Thus, it is crucial that hospitals have access to high-quality operation theater equipment to guarantee the safety of all surgical procedures. For any kind of work to be done successfully, high-quality lighting is required. If a surgical procedure is going to be particularly challenging or intricate, then proper lighting is essential. The surgical light allows the surgeons to see everything clearly. Surgical lights can be either light-emitting diode, LED, lights or halogen lights. Operation tables, commonly known as surgical tables, are indispensable instruments for every kind of medical practice. The patient can relax on the table while the doctors work. Certain operating tables, like orthopedic tables, are made specifically for that purpose, while others are made to accommodate a wider variety of treatments. It is essential for surgeons and other members of the surgical team to be able to visualize complex patient anatomy on surgical displays when doing minimally invasive surgery. Medical professionals often rely heavily on surgical lighting. They improve surgeons' visibility, which is essential Wall displays in the operating large theater format screens should be attached included to surgical in any light kit. arms, equipment columns, or walls show the operating site in detail. High definition or 4K visualization may be available on modern surgical screens. The anesthesia machine is one of the most important pieces of equipment in the operating room since it supplies patients with a safe and effective combination of anesthetic and breathing gases. An anesthetic machine is the piece of equipment used to give a patient general anesthetic before surgery. There are several names for the machine that produces the gas used in anesthesia, anesthesia gas machine, anesthesia workstation, and anesthesia delivery system. A modern anesthesia machine can be one of three varieties, anesthesia machines that use air, DC anesthesia machines, and closed systems. As secretions build up in the mouth, throat, or lungs, a suction machine can pump them out to keep the airway clear. This is especially crucial in cases when neurological illnesses have compromised the patient's capacity to cough or swallow. When a surgical operation calls for the removal of viscous fluids, such as phlegm or negative pressure suction, a suction machine is used. Sterilization is most important in the operation room. A single surgical sweet sterilizer can handle all sterilizing needs. This piece of equipment uses steam to sterilize a wide variety of operating room supplies, including bandages, surgical tools, injections, and more. 
blanket warmers, often called warming cabinets, are used to keep four fluid, linens, and blankets warm while they are stored. Maintaining patient fluids and linens at a comfortable temperature will help reduce the likelihood of hypothermia. Surgery is present unique challenges for maintaining a normal core body temperature. This technology not only helps you feel more at ease, but it also helps your body stay at a healthy temperature. Patients have a better chance of survival when their body temperatures are normalized. Mobile or stationary, one, two, or three chamber blanket warmers exist. Defibrillators prevent and treat arrhythmias and can restart a halted heart, irregular, too slow, or too fast heart rates. Defibrillators shock the heart to restart an erratic heartbeat. Oxygen concentrators extract atmospheric oxygen. The wards, operating rooms, and intensive care units all use them when a central gas supply is unavailable and gas cylinders are too costly or inconvenient to use. The oxygen concentrator in operating rooms is wired straight into the anesthesia equipment. In situations calling for more maneuverability, see arm systems shine. This is typically the case in a hospital operating room. Orthopedic surgeries, heart and angiography tests, therapeutic studies, and stent and line placements are just some of the uses for C-arm equipment today. Preventing infections in a surgical setting requires standard precautions, including the use of a surgical scrub to clean hands and forearms before a surgery. The operating room personnel scrubs in at the scrub sinks before each procedure. One of the best ways to stop the spread of germs is by washing one's hands. Because of its hands-free operation, scrub sinks reduce germ spread. Due of their portability, see arm systems are versatile. Their semicircular shape allows the doctor greater flexibility in positioning it over the patient's body for optimal image capture. The patient table and arc type C arm system are optimal for X-ray imaging procedures. Because of how crucial they are to the success of surgical procedures, electrosurgical units are a standard fixture in modern operating rooms. The electrosurgical unit is a piece of surgical equipment that employs high-frequency electrical current to make incisions in tissue and stop bleeding by producing coagulation. The electrosurgery device can be used in place of or in addition to the traditional scalpel by the surgeon. A correctly operated electrosurgery equipment does much less tissue damage than a knife and can stop bleeding without risk. The medical community has recognized surgical smoke, a byproduct of diathermy devices, as a potential serious threat to patient health. When a significant smoke plume is generated, an emergency smoke evacuation system must be activated. Any condensation that forms during surgery can be collected by a moisture filter built into a smoke extractor. Both charcoal and ULPA, ultra-low penetration air, filters are available in a smoke evacuator. Effective smoke evacuation is guaranteed by the 99% effectiveness with which ULPA filter can remove particles larger than 0.3 microns in size. B. Voc in Operation Theater Technology Eligibility Criteria 12th class from any recognized board. Students, arts, commerce, science, of any age can apply. A minimum score of 50% in the 12th class. Join Sri Ram Medical College's Bachelor of Vocation in Operation Theatre Technology and take the first step toward a successful career in Operation Theatre Technologist.
We are here to assist you in launching your career as an operation theatre technologists. Call us at 9968193009 for more information about our program or to submit an application right away. Sri Ram Medical College, nurturing next generation of healthcare leaders, and offers all paramedical courses at competitive fee and helps in 100% placement assistance. Admission open. For more information, please visit our website sriramcollege.com and like, share, subscribe, our YouTube channel Sriram Medical College. Good luck, goodbye.